All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta, learn form validation by building a calorie counter. Step 61. All right. So browsers have a built-in alert function, which we can use to display a pop-up message to, to, pardon me, to the user. All right. Uh, the message is, pardon me, the message to display is passed as an argument to the alert function. What's up with me today? Anyway, uh, let's go check this out at uh, W3 school, not W3, the whatever. Alert method JavaScript Google bar, right? Uh, I did click this one, but I just don't like this. I don't like the unfamiliar unfamiliarity of the thing. I'm sure all those words mean well, but we're going down here to MDM web docs, right? So the window.alert instructs, pardon me, window.alert instructs, I'm not re recording this, <laughs> instructs the browser to display a dialog with an optional message and to wait until the user dismisses the dialog. Under some conditions, for example, when the user switches tabs, the browser may not actually display a dialog or may not wait for the user to dismiss the dialog, okay? Uh, so here's the syntax. We'll have a, the alert thing right here, and then we'll have a message inside of it. And the message is going to be a string that we want to display in the alert dialog, or alternatively, an object that is converted into a string and displayed. Gotcha. All right. So we'll come over here, and we'll see uh, using a template literal in our if block, we're going to call the alert function to tell the user invalid input with a colon and a space, followed by the first value in the input, pardon me, invalid input match array. Okay. So this is an array. That's a nice little hint for us. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we'll do the alert function. So we'll say alert right here, alert, thusly. And inside of here, we're going to put uh, the template literal. So we'll put the back ticks, then invalid input colon, space. Then we're going to do the embedded expression with the uh, shift four for the dollar sign. We'll have the curly braces thusly. And then we will say uh, input, invalid input match. So invalid input match, we'll do a uh, copy on that, drop it in there. And then right after that, we'll do a, what is that? A, the, the accessor with zero as the index right there. And that should take care of it. So let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 62 and we'll see you next time.